Nails fam, I'm about to attempt to film a makeup video, but you guys, this is actually in the future, so in a little bit, we're gonna rewind to everything that happened yesterday, because yesterday I was in a like, just mood where I didn't really wanna talk, but I still wanted to vlog, so I vlogged, and now I'm just gonna talk through it, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm gonna film this, and then we'll catch up, because I have really, really exciting news, like huge news, you, you guys, like, freaking out news so stay tuned i'll tell you that in a little bit we're on our way to shigatsi tibet i think we're about three hours away we just stopped for lunch so we're in this real small town it's pretty cool i just bought uh maybe one or two things for rachel i guess rachel you'll see this so i can't tell you what they are but kind of cool eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true going on earls fam i am in shigatsi china which is in tibet we are still about 14 hour drive from everest base camp it's tomorrow we go to tingri china um, but today we're about to head to this monastery, which is supposed to be really cool, so I'll try to get some video of it. Inside of our hotel now, it's a really nice hotel. You can see behind me, China loves decorating gold and it's super extravagant. It's pretty neat. This hotel lobby has an incredibly strong smell because there's a bunch of like incense. It is super intense. You can almost taste it. Look at this contraption here for heating up food. They got a pan there. And then they have these like reflecting, almost like mirror type things facing right at this pan and the pan's super, super hot. Okay guys, let's jump right into what happened yesterday. So yesterday morning I took Tracker to uh, get her last shots at the vet. So I went ahead and took both the dogs with me because I just didn't want to leave Ranger at home. So I took them, we drove over there and yeah, I got Tracker her last shot, everything was good and we drove back. Just kind of had a chill morning, but then you guys, Tracker got pretty sick and she threw up like three times throughout the day also which added to my just like I just wanted to have a relaxing day I wasn't really in the biggest talking mood because she's like my daughter and I felt like she was hurting so I was hurting for her so I really just wanted to cuddle her and spend time with my puppies because she just seemed really really sad uh, but if you guys are wondering like oh is something wrong with her I think she just ate one too many acorns and like a tree <laughs> seriously she eats everything outside and I stop her all the time I'm like get acorns out of her mouth but she just eats everything like she, so basically what she threw up was just like plants and acorns and sticks and stuff like that which is obviously not good for her um, but today well you'll see tomorrow's vlog but today she's doing fine uh, so anyways I really just spent a lot of time with my puppies and loving on them um, and I just you know lit a candle and enjoyed my evening with the going over to the entrance of the monastery now All right, we just entered to the monastery let me show you the view now it's pretty cool you can see the uh, the roofs of the buildings over there the gold tops we're gonna work our way up to there now. Okay. You got the monks walking around here. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Through the monastery now. Tom's working on getting good uh, video shots for the documentary. Trying to get good B-roll for the documentary, but specifically for Rachel. Oh. <laughs> so she doesn't kill me. <laughs> and we're making sure we focus the pictures and you know center it just right. <laughs> View of the trees. There's some amazingly old trees that are really fascinating. Hey, Chadalite, what kind of trees are these? I'm not sure. Not sure. They're dead trees. They're no, they're beautiful. No. Man, this is pretty. Oh, no, this and these is trees are all throughout the monastery. Like that's yak wool. Oh, there, that's yak wool? Yeah, it's tied onto the branches. Oh, wow. I wonder I if that's like good luck or something. Cool. Huh. I don't know what these trees are. Some friends behind me and started taking pictures with them. <laughs> Rachel will send them to you uh, along with this video. A beautiful tree. She didn't know. But I, I asked her, I was like, <laughs> these guys, uh, those are pretty intense. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. We're walking across the stupas. Now let me stupas. Let me focus at those things. And you're supposed to walk around in a in a clockwise manner for good luck. So with 
Harold gone, my eating is so weird. I think I've, my diet has consisted, and by diet I just mean what I eat, um, has consisted of Pop-Tarts, pickles, uh, carrots. Oh, but since I'm going to Colorado, my friend told me, she was like, start drinking a lot of water because the altitude. So I was like, oh gosh. So I really started to drink some more water because, and I need, I need to do that now actually because I don't want to you know, be affected by the altitude and I know we're going to go on some hikes and stuff like that. So I need to drink more water today. Um, and then I also was just working on some USX lifestyle stuff. You guys know, um, if you're new here, then maybe you don't know, but I do all the social media for uh, my husband's nonprofit, uh, USX. Um, he's climbing Mount Everest right now. So um, I do all the social media for that, but I also run our clothing company, which is USX Lifestyle. Excuse me, dogs. And basically we just have shirts and jackets and hats and stuff and all the proceeds go to supporting um the everest expedition and um raising awareness for ptsd so it's great if you guys haven't got any of our products yet you should definitely check them out because i love all the stuff that we have you can see this was a ton of prayer flags up on that mountain like thousands of them man that's just beautiful the architecture like the, the artistry that goes into that. If you can see up under, you can't quite see underneath the gold plated uh, roof, but underneath that is amazing artwork. Just the amount of detail that went into this. Here's another beautiful building. You guys a cool shot at what I'm looking at right now. That's Shigatsi, the town down there. You got the mountain ranges in the background, and then obviously you got the monastery right here to the right. It says, do not approach him. We got a courtyard here, and then some type of statue or some thing up here i don't know but it says do not approach him around the monastery now it's amazing views in the background but <laughs> wind's blowing but it's always so fascinating to, to hear and learn about other people's religion i mean buddhism is such a interesting interesting religion i'm playing a clip of harold coming home and just watch ranger's response okay <laughs> is that daddy you'll get your turn you'll get your turn mm. Is that Teddy? Oh. Oh, you want to say hi? Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, where is he? Hey. <laughs> That's your daddy. Oh, oh nice hey. to meet your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you confused? <laughs> then uh, Harold was trying to FaceTime audio, audio me and it was not working it always just gets stuck on connecting so that took a long time before it finally worked and then it did work and ranger got to facetime harold and he was just doing this the whole time and then he started running around the house looking for harold so i'll insert that clip as well ranger. Ranger. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey. Hey boy. is it daddy <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I think he's like gonna go look for you. He's like running around the house on my face. He's like looking around, like, what? Where is he? He's looking around just so confused. Yeah. Looking in the living room, like, hey, yeah. Buddy. yeah. Hey. Where'd you go, Range? <laughs> he is walking around. Ranger. Oh, he's really running around looking for you, honey. He, he's oh. doing like the hide and seek thing. Oh, stop. Look, bud. Oh, no. This is breaking my heart. He's looking for you so bad. Like he just looked in the fireplace. Oh, buddy. It's okay. He's literally running around like looking desperately. Bud, bud, it's all right. And then, yeah, you guys, I just ended my evening with a nice shower to relax myself. Uh, Harold was laughing at me because he's like, wait, weren't you wearing that shirt yesterday? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Like, I was in the same clothes as yesterday, and it was his clothes. <laughs> I just needed I just needed that day to kind of just, like, decompress, not even really talk. I mean, I talked when I took Tracker to the vet and stuff, um, and I talked on the phone, but just kind of have a chill relaxed day and that's what it was and it was good and I got some good quality time with the pups but I kind of always do I mean come on they're like sitting there right with me right now uh but yeah so the biggest thing that I forgot to tell you was here it is drum roll please 
You guys, I signed up for this email service about traveling. It sends me information about last minute flights. I woke up to an email telling me that there was a very cheap flight to Dublin, Ireland. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what? You guys, if you've been watching, you know I've been like dying to go to Ireland. I also want to go to Iceland really bad, but I kind of decided Iceland is something that I really want to do with Harold because I really want to see the Northern Lights with him. And I think if I saw them by myself, I might be a little like sad that he didn't see them with me. But Ireland, I was like, I have to do this. Like I have to do this. So I looked up all the information and I, I had to wait because the time schedule with Harold is flipped. So I found out in the morning hour, my time, but I couldn't talk to him until nighttime because that's morning his time. So I waited and I talked to him about it last night and he said I could go. So I booked a flight to Ireland and I'm going to Ireland. What? Holy cow, I'm going to Ireland. I'm going to Ireland. I'm going to Ireland. Me, Ireland. What? I'm so, oh yes, yes, yes. So um, I know you guys are probably just like, Huh? Like what? Oh God, you're going everywhere. Yeah, I kind of am. Um, but you guys, everything that I found has been very cheap. You know, I was, before I found this flight, I was looking at flights to Ireland. I have a friend who is getting her master's over in Ireland right now. Um, and I was trying to convince my mom to go with me, but, um, you know, flights are like, like a thousand dollars. I was like, I, you know, I can't do that. So this was like, a little over 500 for a round trip flight to Ireland. So I'm going to Ireland for a week in May. May is going to be the craziest month, but so amazing and so awesome. And I'm just so pumped you guys because I just like, I just want to live my life. You know, I just want to live life to its fullest. And I don't want to feel like I'm like, not, I don't like the term like tied down because it's not like I'm tied down because I like am married or whatever because I'm military but I was just thinking how you know sometimes I do almost I don't want to say I don't like that term but you know sometimes it's like oh, dang like you know I can't really find like a you know, I didn't pursue a job necessarily because of our living situation in the military. And sometimes I get a little bummed out about that. Although I am working as you guys, you know, know from everything that I've done, it's just not typical. Um, but just thinking like, wow, this has provided me with awesome opportunities that I don't think would have been able to happen otherwise. You know, if I was having a real job that I had to go to every, you know, single day and whatnot, I wouldn't be going to Ireland. I wouldn't be going to Guatemala. I wouldn't be going to Colorado. Like just all of those awesome opportunities for me. And those are opportunities for me to grow while Harold is gone growing as well. And that just pumps me up. And just like, I think it was God like still saying to me like, hey, you know, like you still have your adventure as well. It's like you have your adventure with Harold and like, yes, the army and like his own little desires to do things like Everest are gonna take him away from you at sometimes, but you have the opportunity to do that as well. You have the opportunity to pursue your passions, pursue the things and the places that you wanna go and you wanna see. Um, and so don't feel held back um, and don't, you know, or do take advantage of those times, make the most of them, live life to its fullest. Um, and I'm just so pumped because, you know, we really do want to have kids soon. And, and thinking about that, I was, I was really thinking was, you know, I kind of understand why people say, you know, like we'll wait and travel and, and then have kids and stuff. And my opinion before was like, well, I have traveled a bit. Um, and I, you know, we want to have kids young and then travel again once we're older. Um, and I, that's still our plan, but just thinking as kids are getting closer and closer, it's like, I, I want to take my opportunities now. And knowing that it's like, I got really, really, really freaking good deals on these. Plus my friend is in Ireland. So I get to go hang out with her and she gets to show me around like, what? So anyways, you guys, that's the huge news. I'm going to Ireland. I'm taking you guys with me. Holy cow. This is so awesome. Thank you, honey, for supporting me. And for just allowing me to chase my dreams as well. I'm excited to share everything with both of my husband and you and my family and all of you. I'm so excited. Anyways, gonna end this video, start tomorrow's vlog. So if you did like it, please thumbs up, subscribe, 
Leave lots of love down below. If you've ever been to Ireland, tell me your favorite places, like what I must do, anything like that. I'm so freaking pumped. Yes. Okay, guys. <laughs> love God, love people, make a difference, and be thankful, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'm not in the crying mood, so hopefully this is not something that's going to make me cry, but let's get on with it. Aw. Okay. I don't know if I should read these out loud. Rachel, the Irish say there's not a tree in heaven higher than the tree of patience. You've had a 